Hey, what's going on everyone? Big Bob with Tales of the King. Welcome back to another edition. Today we're in Glendale, Arizona. We're going to speak with Pancho Una Vida, owner of Cholo Salviclas. You guys stay tuned. King Life. When we started Una Vida, there's a meaning behind it. And uh, that's how we started. And that's what touches a lot of people of, of the meaning. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you want to just put out a product just to make money, you're probably not going to last that long. You know, you, you have to have a meaning behind it and mean something personal to you. That just that worked for us. Right, right. So that's what we did. But I mean, if you want to put something out there, obviously um, we came up with the, with the design, the logo, and then the meaning. That's it. But like I said, to me personally, it has to be meaningful. Hey, what's going on everyone? Big Bob with Tales of a King. Welcome back to another edition. And thank you to Black Widow Investigations for making this episode possible. You guys, today we got a special guest, Pancho Una Vida, AKA Mr. Cholo Style Viclas, <laughs> right here in Arizona. Thank you for having us, Pancho. Oh, thank you for uh, finally uh, deciding to come out to Arizona. Finally, finally. <laughs> We've been here a lot of time, just not yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm excited for this one. A lot of you guys know me and Pancho. Uh, we, we have beef on uh, social media. <laughs> and just so you guys know, none of that is real. It's all just fun. I, we always get DMs of people saying, oh man, dude, like, what yeah, I get, I get, about him? I get DMs all the time. Like, hey man, I thought you and Big Bob were, 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 were cool. And I was like, man, it's just, we know each other for a long time. So that's just how we talk shit to each other. That's but uh, yeah, so uh, uh, one thing is Una Vida is your clothing brand, right? People, Correct. A lot of people who don't know who you are, just know you as Cholo Salvico, they don't know you started as Una Vida. Correct, right. Yeah, in the beginning, we wanted to start off with the biker apparel, but uh, we, we went with uh, something that meant, that was more meaningful to us. Mm -hmm. So we started Una Vida. Which, there's uh, a mission statement out there. If you guys follow my page, uh, you guys can see that mission statement. So, But that's how we started. We started the, with Una Vida clothing line. And how long have you guys been doing that? Since 2016? 2016, yep, yep. And that's how we actually met through, I know I've said it before, I have a brand we have, we have, Bonnet Inc. And a poncho went to buy a hat and it was like 75 bucks. <laughs> I, I was new to the whole website thing. Well, it was funny because we went up and it was actually the Sarape hat. Okay, okay. And uh, I think it was like 50 bucks. When you looked at me like if like if I couldn't afford it, you're like, uh, I did not. Don't bucks. even judge that. <laughs> See, here we go. Don't even, I, I will not judge no one. <laughs> Ever since then, we've been friends, and uh, uh, and so all that social media stuff is not real. But <laughs> what what does cholo like? I think everyone has their own definition of cholo style. Correct. What's your take on it? Because I mean, when you, I remember we started, I didn't know it was you. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, I I don't know why you texted me or something. I, I think I was talking shit. Like this guy keeps bugging me, <laughs> and I was like, I told my wife, like, I told Myron, like, I think it's Poncho. <laughs> Well, as you see the bike, his name is Cholo, and uh, my nick one of my nicknames was, was Cholo. Everybody calls me Cholo, but my definition of, of Cholo style is, you know, the spoke wheel, white walls, and fishtails, and that's, to me, that's that's Cholo style. So not necessarily a person or... No, no, not at all. Like I said, my background is I grew up with low riders and stuff, and that, to me, that's just like a Cholo style, too, with the white walls and the spoke wheels and stuff, but that's my definition of Cholo style. Everyone else has their own meanings of of this look and mm. it's not for everybody but this is the look i like so right, that's why right. i went with the cholo style and you had your bike since 99 no i actually bought it in 2006. okay okay yeah so oh so i mean pretty much yeah i've had it for a while yeah and then you went when, when you bought it though it was stock right or it was all it? stock yeah it's a road, road king classic it, had, it was the green with the black and my third paint job on it so yeah it's it's uh the super sport 88 yep yep that's a big engine you guys it's uh a super sport 88 the super sport. <laughs> now, uh, the first paint job you get, but you've always kept it kind of like the colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the first time it was uh, it was uh, candy uh, tangerine orange. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then we went root beer brown, and now what it is now. So I didn't even know you rode when I first met you. No, mm -mm. I thought you were uh, the lowrider guy. Oh, really? You're part of the club and all. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You're always yep. wearing the majestic. Uh, yep, thing. yep. Can I say that on here? Majestic? Yeah. Can I say that? <laughs> I was like say the wrong thing. Uh, I remember when I could met you, and that's why I thought you were in the car club because you had your majestic shirt on still. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I was uh, acting majestic since late '98, and uh, I'm pretty much grandfathered in, man. It's just something I've always liked to do when I was a kid. Do they have like a bike 
sector or whatever you want they to don't no, no, no they don't no they, I mean, they have lowrider bikes as in like the bicycles for mm -hmm. kids and stuff but no no there's no motorcycles hey i know some car clubs are doing that for a while yeah yeah they're yeah putting on yeah. Uh, like letting them put i don't know what they were patches there I little patches right. or little plaques under yeah. yeah that's cool any plans on doing anything to the bike um i'm actually gonna announce that thing i mean like you know we'll get some footage of it but that's yeah, the only thing next, um, I mean, there's pretty much, I mean, there's lots of things you can do to, to a bike. Obviously, if you go to the shows, you see they're on turntables yeah. and stuff like that. But I actually ride my bike. But the next thing that I'm going to do to them, put a 26 on it. Mm. So I'll rake it out. But Actually, we got it right here. Can yeah, a little 26. Oh, shit, that's heavy. <laughs> next to my 20-inch arms. <laughs> <laughs> um. So with Una Vida, you guys traveled a lot. Oh, we did in the beginning. It man. sounds so funny because we we're pretty much same, yeah. same places. New yeah, Mexico, pretty much. Arizona, California. Yeah, all, all over North, California. Yeah. But you guys still pushing it? You still going? Or? Um, we're still, the, the website's still on. Um, as far as vending, um, I, can, I mean, like you you experienced it. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. You've done a show before too, you know, from the life of a vendor. And it, it's a lot of work. You, we're there before everyone, five in the morning, and we're the last ones to leave. And it, it is a lot of work, man. It's a... Uh, but you, you, you got to do what you got to do to right. get your name out there right. in the beginning. So, but yeah, we did. We did a lot of traveling. As far as uh, vending, um, I'm kind of going to limit myself on vending. Um, if I do vend, it's going to be like out-of-state events mm. and stuff like that. But as far as local stuff, I'm probably not going to be doing them anymore. But the website, you can still hit up. You know, we still got product. And all that, you guys, all the links and all that will be below all those pages. And there's 15 pages in his website. That'll be below. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is something you would tell someone like that's trying to come up because you know i feel like i don't know this is just my personal opinion uh i feel like the like right now not some of the companies coming up want it now like yeah, oh, yeah. i've been doing this three months bro like i'm gonna blow up well, i've been doing this eight years please let me know when, <laughs> right, exactly let me know when you do it what, yep. what would like advice would be if someone like really wants to learn really wants to go through the ropes and all that um me personally like when we started with the there's a meaning behind it and uh that's how we started and that's what touches a lot of people of, of the meaning mm -hmm. you know if, if you want to just put out a product just to make money you're probably not going to last that long you know you, you have to have a meaning behind it and mean something personal to you that just that worked for us right, right. so that's what we did but i mean if you want to put something out there obviously um we came up with the, the, the design the logo and then the meaning that's it but like i said to me personally it has to be meaningful you so, gotta have something behind exactly the something behind the name now, for um, people that I'm sure there's people that don't know, what does Una Vida stand for? It means one life. One life in, in English. And so, it's not just a biker. No, no, no. It's, not it, at that, all. That's a whole, yeah. it's a broad saying. Anybody exactly, can anybody. Yep, we, we shipped everywhere. Australia, Germany, Denmark. Um, so many places I can't remember anymore. Right, but. right. So yeah, you guys can find the links and everything below. So going back to Cholo Styles, um, v -Clos, it's branded now, right? It is a brand, yeah, it is a clothing line. I mean, as you see, I'm wearing a shirt right now. So the link is also to, hopefully you'll hit the button down below. So was that your plan though from, like did Una Vida, that, that was going, was your plan to brand it or was it just to start a, another, I mean, it's a repost page technically, right? Right, right, correct. Our, and then transition, or was it something you just said, oh, I'm going to try it? It was actually something of uh, a transition. Like I said, we first were going to start a, a biker apparel, then we just went with Una Vida. And we just started the page, you know, reposting um, bikes out there. And, and now it's actually a brand. I was like, well, I might as well just make it a brand now, too. But now it is. Cholo Style Vicos is a brand now. How do you do it? Because I, I remember when we did Rookie Nation and Bonehead. I was getting burned out of doing both. You know, it's balance, man. You got to balance. Cause, I mean, it, it is a lot of work. People don't realize how much time and effort it is. To do something like this you know even to think of, of designs and logos you know uh, i kind of just get on my phone i design something and i'll send it to my printer and he does the whole vectoring and stuff right, like right. that but it, it's 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 a lot of work it is a lot of work uh, people don't realize that you just got to put your time in and think of the designs and logos but total style because is a brand you plan on doing anything bigger than than clothing um I don't, I don't even know yet i'm just i'm still going with the flow still going with the flow so like I said, I mean, we, we've got a lot going on, stuff like personal stuff, personal right, right. going on, but it's, it's, it's a lot of work. I mean, well, every day is Friday. Every, <laughs> every day. 
every day yeah, Friday. It, it is. Of. You know, I am. Um, I, I enjoy life, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I do. And uh, I see everyone posting of uh, the whole it's, you know, the Monday blues. Every day is Friday for me. You know, if you don't live happy, then why live? That's right. Now, but your mission statement too is, is pretty much says that, right? Exactly. Yeah, you can follow the mission statement on on my web page, and it, it is what it is. What's the website called? This is case, just uh, so they know. We'll put it below. But Unavidaapparel.com. Just like that. Just like that. And I I, I help them with that website also. <laughs> <laughs> So what's new? What's going on with with you and just in general? Anything up? Anything coming up? Or are you kind of like just like laying low or just not laying low, but just kind of doing your thing with life? Yeah, or? we're just kind of doing our thing. You know, as you know, like my wife, she's uh, she's started her own business as well. So we're kind of focusing on that right now. You know, trying to get her expanded. She's not very much on social media, which uh, I'm trying to tell her to get on social media because that's where marketing is huge right, right, on social right. media. So but yeah, we're just I'm just like Una Vida. Like I said, we're just gonna keep it uh, where it's at. Website still open. We still have product. We're just going to limit ourselves on vending and stuff, mm. and focus on my wife's uh, um, on her uh, career. Pick, so you pick and choose the shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. I'm not going to stop vending completely. It's just. Gonna, I'm just going to pick and choose the shows. And I like to travel a lot. So any uh, any out of town uh, events, you know, send them. Hit me up and let me know if I can make it. I'll make it. Do you respond to your DMs? I do. I, I do. I try to I respond to all of them. If I can get to them, I get to them. Uh, nine times out of ten, I, I respond to all my DMs. So. I was asking because if they DM you, you're getting a response for a show. Yeah, no, no. Even like when I did the podcast, you know, I told everybody, hey, hit me up if you want to learn how to start something. My my phone was blowing up, and I think I pretty much hit every DM. So it's kind of weird when people ask you like, what 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 you should do, huh? Because I feel like you could give advice, but it's really. This is what we did and it worked for us. It doesn't right. mean, that's like people who work out like, what do you do, bro? It's like, yeah. well, what I do may not do absolutely nothing for you, but exactly. this is what we yep. did. So I always feel like it's kind of, I just tell people, look, it, this is what this is what we do. You can take from it, you can try it, or you just pick at it. But yep. no, I, I always feel like I don't want to, I don't like being that guy just in case it doesn't work for them. Exactly. You said I'm like, right. <laughs> well, and they fail and they yeah, blame it on you. Yeah. <laughs> I did curls for a year. <laughs> I still don't look like you, Big Bob. <laughs> Sorry. You're not eating? I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. So I, so I was asking, like, like it's hard. To, sometimes for me, it's hard to be like, uh, well, now that I don't want to help, of course I like helping, but I just feel like I'm always like hesitant because I don't want someone to be like, you right. jerk, you said do this. I said, no, this is what we right, did. Right, exactly. But that's exactly the point. I mean, it's... It, we do what we do because it works for us. And that's the only thing we could do is just give you advice and then you run it with it on your own. Right, right. So. That's like anything in life, right? Oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> on your, your bike, your 99 Road King, uh, one of the favorite features for me is all the gold, the accents. I don't know why, but it just, it stands out. Yeah, that, it does. That's fairly new, or right? Oh, or? Uh, yeah, yeah. I. Uh, I got little pieces here and there a couple years ago, and then once I saw it, and then I started, it, man, it really, it really pops. So I did a little more, but yeah, that's one of my favorite features too. Is, is the gold penny? It's crazy because it's not gold isn't a loud color, but on on the bike it really stands out. Yeah, I think it's because the color of the, of the bike as well too. I think that's why it pops out. It's kind of subtle too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, let's go check it out. I want to check out some of the bike, and uh, we'll show you guys some uh, some of the features up close. Let's go. Do people give you a lot of shit for driving around that hundred thousand dollar truck? <laughs> 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 all right, so so <laughs> you can't see his truck. His name's all over. You can't miss him. It's kind of a dick move. So, <laughs> so <it's called> marketing, <laughs> promoting. So you got twenty six in front, or is it twenty three? Twenty three. Now it's a forty. The forty spoke. It's right? It's actually a sixty spoke. Oh really? Yeah. See, I want to do that on mine, but I feel like again, like I guess my bike is considered a troll star, right? Vicla, whatever. But I don't think I could pull, for some reason, I don't think I could pull that older school look, like the old school school. The 40 spoke, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have, you have uh, fat spokes on yours? Yeah. yeah. They're, yeah. They're, uh, but again, uh, you know, like I said, this is my style, your style is your style. I mean, it, definition of troll style can be different. It's just the white wall and smoke. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the paint, I wish it was more sunny out here, but that's like all flake, right? And Yeah. 
So there is no like gold base. There's no oh, there's silver no base. base. The the base is just uh, three different sizes of flake. Wow. So that's what the base is. It's all flake, and that's why when, especially I know once the sun was out, you could actually see the flake, and it it pops like crazy. And like I, I've said before, the the videos these the videos do no justice for these bikes that are like done like this flaked and all that candy striped or not striped this isn't pinstripe right right correct i didn't want to do pinstriping again like i said i want to be different these are all tape lines so there's no pinstriping on it at all wow. no gold leafy no nothing it's just all tape lines so if you don't know what you're looking at you would think you're looking at pinstripe right yeah um now as far as the the engraving was that done by a local guy or um yeah so a couple pieces this is all local here this is from carlos salas and i want to say he's actually in pasadena california okay. But uh, yeah, this local guys that you know, starting out, I give them a little shot. They want to do for free, and I was like, "Hey, go ahead. It's yeah. engraving." <laughs> Who? Uh, yeah. uh, now the gold accents are uh, to me. To me, and I'm not a visionary. Talk, I've talked about it before, but it's perfect. You got like the lenses, the clamp, but yep. not the speakers. You know, the footboards, the little little accents on the yeah, covers. Like, and, yeah, like I wanted it to be subtle. I don't want it to be you know like oh, it's just bikes gold. Right, right. I want to just you know to break it up with the chrome and the gold. So. You know, little pieces here and there. I get a little more like the master cylinder I'll probably to get gold plated and the rear covers back here I'll probably get gold plated, but I want to just keep it simple. Right, you know? right. Now you got air ride? Air ride in the back. Not no air ride in the front yet. Then you got a sound obviously got a sound system. Yeah. What bags, pods? Yep. Tweeters. Tweeters on the side tweeters. covers, which is killing uh, me. You don't, you don't have, have, you have, you don't have tweeters, right? Yeah, in the <laughs> <laughs> Actually I do. They're under the uh, the bezel. Bezel? So, so you can't see them. Yeah, the, the, they're like horns. They're called. Horns. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, the sofa seat. If you want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I'm old school into low riders and stuff right here. So, if you saw low riders back in the day, you saw a lot of diamond tuck uh, upholstery. Mm -hmm. So that's what I went with. Um, the poster wanted to do diamond stitching. I was like, no, I want to be different. I want diamond tuck. Right, right. So then that's what I went, what I went oh, with. Oh, looks so. like it looks like the old '70s. Uh, yeah, like, back in the poster, like back in the, the so far, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then you got, um, you got a um, pinstripe. Pin I thought that was, uh, I always thought that was engraved. Yeah, no, like you see, everyone has, well, not everyone, a lot of people have engraving on the fishtail. Right, and, right. And again, I wanted to be different, so I did pinstripe. And, and how long have you had it? Uh, pinstripe has probably been on there for about a good four years. Really? And it's still on there, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Well, you don't ride that much, so it probably doesn't get that hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna start riding, kind of like you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> it's because we're so busy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, any, anything else? I know we talked about it earlier, but anything major, or are you just little things here and there? Uh, little things here and there. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little more pieces of, of uh, gold plating. Um, a guy local named uh, Damone, Damone's gold plating. Uh -huh. um, and then I'm gonna do a 26. And that's pretty much it. Then we'll start on my wife's bike. Now, who detailed your bike? Because I know they uh, do detail before you Jose, got he goes by uh, Jay's Reflection Detail Check on Instagram. Out. Yeah, this, uh, he does the whole uh, wash detail, um, the ceramic coat and everything. Now, I do have a question. Why are your passenger pegs down? Why are they down? Yeah. You know, because when I put my feet on, like Superman. <laughs> you feel like I, flying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to jump on these things and uh, we're going to get out of here. Thank you to Jose for letting me use his uh, Street Glide today so we can ride around and uh, right there, JT's detailing. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna get out of here. This is Bookshop Production. We hope you guys enjoyed this special edition of Tales of the King. We're gonna get out of here, go get some food, have some drinks. You guys stay safe, stay blessed. We'll talk to you soon. King Life.